Okay, let's see how many people we can get down here for the next two or three hours to close out the show. We have a lot of good bands coming on. So if you're up there in your camper, come on down and grab a seat. See how many people we can get out there, see how much noise we can make, see if we can keep the rain from falling. I want to remind you, Sandy's Music will be open for a short while longer. Sandy's Music has guitars and banjos, fiddles, mandolins, many instruments and instrument accessories. Also, Pickers Paradise up under the yellow and white tent will be open. We have a couple of real special guests that are going to pick for the next uh, 20, 25 minutes or so on this stage. <laughs> One uh, used to be the editor of Mule Skinner News and did a fine job on that for about five years. Uh, he also had been a bluegrass music MC for many years, worked on the festivals, worked for Carlton Haney and many others on the bluegrass festivals. I also believe he played for a while with Snuffy Jenkins and Pappy Sherrill. At least we have pictures of him doing so. I'm sure he's no stranger to you. The other is Banjo Picker, who played with the Lilly Brothers for many, many years in Boston, keeping bluegrass virtually alive in this part of the country. He also had his own band, the White Oak Mountain Boys, for many years, and I'm sure he's no stranger to you at all either. He's a great banjo picker, a great MC, and a fine gentleman. They're both friends, and it's great to be able to introduce them to this stage, and I hope you enjoy them for the next half hour or so. Give a warm welcome to Fred Bartenstein and Don Stover. They said we were. We're the Mountain Brothers. He, this is White Oak, and I'm his brother Berkshire. <laughs> we we sound like Les and Paul, don't we? <laughs> we we didn't plan this, but some folks asked us we'd come out and do a couple of numbers. We're glad to oblige, really. But it's unrehearsed, and I I haven't even looked at the banjo until yesterday morning, and it didn't work out too good. I pulled the string out of the bridge, and they asked me if I'd pick, and so I said no, I can't, and they said yes, you have to. <laughs> They'd fire me if I didn't. Fred's gonna sing a pretty song here for you, Fred. This is a, a song that uh, Don helped me record a few years ago. Uh, a fellow named Cal Williams wrote it, and the song's not half as good as Don's banjo playing on it, so put your attention on that. It's called Listen, They're Playing My Song. Down the street, a baby just cried. When he woke up all alone A train's leaving town Oh, that lonesome sound It's chilling me right to the bone The song they keep singing I can hardly hear about a that's gone wrong Thunder just warm It's coming The storm Listen They're playing my song
so sad it torments your soul listen to that north wind blow tonight is so dark and cold somewhere a siren cuts through the night it sounds like the whole world's gone wrong. Thunder just warned it's coming a storm. Listen, they're playing my song. Listen, they're playing my song. Don's going to get him a chair, sit down. This is one of his sit-down numbers. When he plays drop thumb, he sits down. He drops his thumb right here on stage. If you want to see That's it. That's the easiest way I found working is sitting down. I stand backstage. I work up a sweat watching them other guys work, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, okay. Here's a little tune, some call it John Brown's, uh, March? Uh, John Brown's March, John Brown's Dream, or something like that. Right. We call it the March. We're going to drop a thumb for you. That's a lot like work, ain't it? Strictly unrehearsed stuff. Absolutely unrehearsed. Fred and I are gonna sing one, believe it or not. <laughs> this is an old Lester Flatt and Curly Seckler number. And uh, hardly anybody does it anymore. It came out on one of their old Mercury records and they used to sing it, and Curly Seckler played a bodacious mandolin break on it. It's the one called a Will the Roses Bloom Where She Lies Sleeping. curly I love 
number till the day I die. Join me, Don. Will the roses bloom where she lies sleeping? Will the flowers shed their petals there? Will the dewdrops fall upon the roses where my darling sleeps beneath the sand? Here's one for everybody that, all right, <laughs> completely unrehearsed. This is for all of, the, all of you people that have come from beneath the Mason-Dixon line. And those of you from up north, this song gets you both. It's one that asks the musical question, are you from Dixie? <laughs> Hello there, stranger, how do you do? There's something I'd like to say to you. You seem surprised, I recognize. I'm no detective, but I just surmise. You're from the place I'm longing to be. Your smile and face seems to say to me, you're from my own land, my sunny homeland. Tell me, can it be? Are you from Dixie? I say from Dixie, where the fields of cotton and beckon to me. I'm glad to see you. Tell me I'll be you and the friends I'm longing to see. Are you from Alabama, Tennessee, or Carolina? Any place below the Mason-Dixon line. Are you from Dixie? I say from Dixie, cause I'm from Dixie too. Short break, Don. Now it was a way back in old 69 when I first crossed that Mason Dixon line. Gee, how I've yearned, longed to return to all those good old folks I left behind. My home was way down in old Alabama on a plantation near Birmingham. And there's one thing certain I'm surely flirting with those southbound trains. Are you from Dixie? I say from Dixie, where the fields of cotton and beckon to me. I'm glad to see you. Tell me I'll be you and the friends I'm longing to see. Are you from Alabama, Tennessee, or Carolina? Any place below the Mason-Dixon line. Are you from Dixie? I say from Dixie, cause I'm from Dixie too. We'll see you later. Thank you for your sympathy. We appreciate every bit of that. Unrehearsed. A little fill-in stuff is all of us. Thank you very much. The show goes on. More bluegrass tonight. <laughs> 